The African lion sets a tone of wildness at Oregon's wildlife safari, attracting people from all over. But the park has a special place for children in southern Oregon. These youngsters are spending some summer days here, learning about animals and their place in the world. It's part of Wildlife Safari's educational outreach, a function I know well from my days of teaching in Medford. As these summer campers board a kind of cage on wheels, I'm reminded of the many classes that took field trips to the park to reinforce their study of life sciences. This day, the campers are headed to the elephant compound, where they'll learn a lot more about planet Earth's largest land mammal. drive through visitors can get a glance at the elephants, but this group is going to see and even touch an elephant close up. The cage on wheels takes us through the park to the elephant compound. This is the final day of summer camp, but the kids seem anything but blasé about meeting more animals. You can hear their excitement as they wait for the elephant's keepers. Oh, oh no, oh no, an unplanned visit from a giraffe reminds us that animals can be unpredictable. Staff members try to cajole the giraffe into leaving, which he eventually does. Go ahead and open the gate and I'll get blocked. She listened to Garris. Now that the giraffe has ambled off, the campers disembark to have an elephant encounter. First is no running. Elephants don't run, so we don't either. We don't want to make them nervous. Also, we're going to head through the barn here. There's a couple tripping hazards, so please, please be careful as you're walking and watch where you're stepping. Once we get over there towards Valerie, we're going to have everyone line up against the wall. I'll let you know where you guys can go. We're going to make sure when we're feeding and petting Valerie that we all go one at a time and stay behind the line, okay? So you guys are going to follow me. We're going to head in and see where the elephants sleep. An elephant barn features heavy-duty structures, a reminder of how incredibly powerful these animals are. Isn't she a good girl? She's very smart. So Valerie's going to show off her ears to you, and that's the best clue as to what kind of elephant she is. Do you guys know if she's an African or an Asian elephant? Go ahead. She is an African elephant. Good job. One at a time, the kids get to feed the elephant a carrot and then carefully touch her trunk. With each other. They like to make sure they stay nice and dusty, they'll throw water on themselves. We'll do hide produce for them or give them, we have a giant red ball we'll hide treats in. So we try to keep them very busy throughout the day and as keepers we always kind of go around and interact with them all day so they're not just thrown out in the yards and left alone. We make sure they stay nice and they can't see directly below their head or their feet. So a lot of times if they need to pick something up off the ground with their nose, they'll feel around with those whiskers first to make sure it's not something bad that they shouldn't be picking up. Her trunk also has a bunch of feeding for now. So there's a carrot, celery, apples, bananas, oranges, melons, yams. They like all sorts of different things and it's one of their favorite treats. 
I even got a chance to do it. She does have much smaller ears. That's your telltale sign for what kind of elephant you're going to be looking at. While campers tell the difference between African and Asian elephants, we get to see Valerie's massive foot and learn why elephants throw mud on themselves. It also acts like a sunscreen for elephants. So they can't get a little sunburned if they're out in the sun for too long. So they give themselves a nice protective layer of mud and dust and dirt. It also keeps bugs off. They have very, very thick skin, but it's also very sensitive. So they can feel flies landing on them and bug bites, and they don't like it any more than we like it. So she's just trying to give herself a nice protective coating against all that. Go ahead. Sort of like sunscreen. Campers also learn about the ivory trade and how it's decimating elephant populations. Elephants and what's going on with them right now. The International Elephant Foundation. They do a lot of amazing work helping elephants. Are you ready for a bath? You are. Are you sure? Valerie, what do you think about being dirty?